Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome Newcastle United to Portugal. Wish I was there, but a bit busy back home, so I can be. The lads jetted off last night, Friday night, from Newcastle down to Portugal. They're actually playing a behind closed doors friendly today, Saturday, against Burnley. Now, Burnley, who are also in Portugal, they've sorted that one out behind closed doors, so we'll probably just get a random tweet at full time with the score from the club. But uh, interesting, will Newcastle be keeping an eye on Maxwell Corney? We've obviously already took Nick Pope from Burnley this summer. He'll be coming up against his former side already. The Claret are now a championship side. The main story could be the movie becomes reality. The dream comes true. Santiago Munez could be playing for Newcastle United this afternoon or even next week against Benfica. The Giants of Portugal, Benfica, and we'll come up against them on Tuesday night. But Santiago has travelled with the first team squad alongside Jay Turner, Cook, Matt Bonswell and Murphy. They're all heading off there, the youngins, so what a great experience that'll be for them and a chance to shine, chance to express themselves like Elliot Anderson has done. Notice absentee from that trip looks to be Matty Longstaff. Now Matty Longstaff wasn't listed or pictured as one of the young players that have travelled to Portugal. He did travel to Austria, but he may as well not have. He may as well have stayed at Newcastle with me because uh, he played zero seconds of football when he was out there, so that signals that Eddie Howe has listed him on the transfer market. He will be available for loan or sale, you would have thought, especially if he hasn't travelled with this camp, but he's not going to get a sniff anyway in this side. So now can the likes of Santiago Munez and Bonswell and the rest of them take their chance, chance to shine. But what a story this is. Santiago Munez on the verge of making his first team debut for Newcastle. Now, it took him a bit of time to get going in the under-23s. We did score a few goals towards the back end of last season. I remember seeing one at St. James Park and he has scored in pre-season already for the under-23s. So he's off to a good start there. We do know we need a forward. So please, let the movie come true. Let Santiago, out of nowhere, start training with these lads and fly into the first team. What a dream that would be. You know what I mean? Now, what a marketing coup this was for Newcastle, obviously, saying in Santiago Munez. It's absolutely mental that there's a real player existing with that name and that he actually plays for Newcastle on the back of the goal movie back in the 2000s. I mean... It's just crazy stuff. It's just, it's just mental and it? it's laughable, but it's happening, it's true, he's here. And he is about to make his first team debut. Absolutely class, lovely stuff for the lad from Mexico. Wish him all the best. I'd love him to come through and do well, because like I say, we're lacking massively in that forward department, especially now even that Gale's left. We're literally left with Wilson, because I don't class Chris Wood as a striker. But even if we are, we're classing Wood and Wilson, that's it. You know what I mean? We're no, we've had no quality down that right-hand side either. Fraser, Murphy, Almiron, not showing anything in pre-season, not showing much in the history either in black and white really throughout the, the three of those. They've got fitness concerns and product concerns. So yeah, it's not it's not looking good, Brev. We need a winger, we need forwards in this summer. So if Munez can shine, brilliant, but I can't see it, let's be honest. No, I don't think don't think he will. But he could always be an option, you could always list him. I mean if you had a blind there, you could always list him in the in this in the 25 man Premier League squad because he wouldn't actually count in that squad because he was aged, so you could put him in there because that's what they were planning on doing with Hugo Akitiki because he's uh, so young you can put him in there b below the age of what the Premier League recommends. But yeah, if, if Munoz can do well, I really hope he does. You know, Newcastle now in Portugal, starting off their second away trip of this pre-season camp, obviously Austria last week. Now they're in Portugal for a good few days, playing Benfica, like I said, Tuesday, eight o'clock. That's a big, big test for them. The toughest test of pre-season, definitely going to, going to Benfica and playing a Champions League quality side there. Then they'll be travelling back after that game and then just a couple of days later, Friday night next week at home at St James's Park and then Saturday at home at St James's Park to Bilbao and at Atlanta. So, a busy, busy week for Eddie Howe's Mags there, travelling to Portugal, training over there, playing over there, a couple of games, coming back, playing a couple of games and then two weeks today is the big day. The Premier League returns just two weeks away. Unbelievable. Class. Can't wait for that. Nottingham Forest at home. What an atmosphere that's going to be. Hopefully, we can get a few new players through the door before, not even just a few, just one would be lovely, please. Just one player through the door before Forest. I'll be happy with that. Two weeks' time. And on the back of looking into the new season, Eddie Howe was saying last night in an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail or Mirror or somebody that he wanted to win Cups next season. He's going to take the Cups very seriously. He wants to do the City proud with the, the Cup competitions next year. And he did also jokingly admit that he that was his plan last year. And then we got knocked out by Cambridge. So that didn't end well, did it? But this year, obviously, got a better squad, got more time to work with the players. 
I think that Cambridge knockout last year was a blessing in disguise, to be honest. We were concentrating on that league position. And Eddie Howe was asked, will we be finishing in the top seven? And he says, you're never going to get a position out of me. I'm not an exact table finish position, but they are looking to build and improve. And he did say that expectations are now a lot higher heading into this new season because of the, the backing that we've got and a couple of transfers that we've made. But he says he's excited for the challenge and looking forward to the new season. Aren't we all, Eddie? Aren't we all? I'm looking forward to Benfica on Tuesday night, the game. Like I say, I'm way too busy moving back to Newcastle to be out there, unfortunately, but uh, we'll be covering that, watching that, and, and doing a reaction to that on Tuesday night, and then the big games next week. We will be there at St. James Park, Friday night and Saturday. So stay tuned for more information on that. Fan cameras will be coming back probably on the Saturday for that one. But Newcastle, land in Portugal, training camp begins. Will we see Muniz make his first team debut? I think we've got to. Got to just for the just for the crack, just for the marketing. Just, just, just for the whole goal of the movie. You know what I mean? Just bring him on, even if it's two minutes at the end, do it. Just do it, Eddie. Oh, yeah. Let us see what he's got. Just watching, everyone. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the Magpie Channel TV. And enjoy yourself.